Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And this is your Royal Daily News for July 26th, 2022. In Monte Carlo, Her Serene Highness Princess Charlene of Monaco visited La Residence Acutidine, a retirement and nursing home. During her visit, the princess met as well as spent time with the residents, whereupon she gave them photos of the princely family. The princess also met with the supervising staff. Today's visit is the third time Princess Charlene has visited the home. In 2018, the beautiful princess brought gifts and photos for the residents of the home. In the municipality of Ibias de Cuadros in northern Spain, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco visited the archaeological site of Atapuerca. Upon his arrival this morning, the Sovereign Prince was warmly welcomed by the co-directors of the Atapuerca Project and Vice Presidents of the Fundación Atapuerca, Professors Luis Arzuega and Yuldad Carbonal. During today's visit, Prince Albert II visited various sites including El Portalón de Cueva Mayor and Cima del Elefante, also known as the Pit of the Elephant. In June of 2022, paleoanthropologists discovered a 1.4 million year old upper jawbone revealing the quote, unique facial features of an individual who may be the oldest known ancient human relative in Europe, end quote. Anyway, after his visit to the archaeological sites, Prince Albert II visited the headquarters of the Fundación Atapuerca where he met with the president of the Fundación, Mr. Antonio Mendez Pozo. After posing for a few photos, the Sovereign Prince signed the Fundación Atapuerca's Book of Honor and then mingled with the Fundación staff as well as with various archaeologists. The day ended with a visit to the Museum of Human Evolution and the National Center for Research on Human Evolution in the city of Burgos. In Tokyo, the Imperial Household Agency announced that His Imperial Majesty Emperor Emeritus Akihito of Japan has been diagnosed as suffering from heart failure. The IHA also noted that the Emperor Emeritus is, quote, on the mend after receiving treatment and there are no plans for him to be hospitalized, end quote. The 88-year-old received the diagnosis after undergoing a heart examination at the University of Tokyo Hospital on Sunday. The exam found that the valve in his heart did not close sufficiently to prevent blood backflow. Emperor Emeritus Akihito has been on a course of medication since the end of June and has seen improvement in his health. The IHA also noted that Emperor Emeritus Akihito is, quote, not aware of experiencing any symptoms of heart failure and has continued to receive treatment such as taking medication and limiting water intake. He has also shortened the time of his daily walk, end quote. On April 30th, 2019, a then-Emperor Akihito of Japan stepped down from the chrysanthemum throne to become the first Japanese monarch to abdicate in over 200 years. The following day, his eldest son, Norohito, ascended to the throne. In Jerash, Her Majesty Queen Rania of Jordan visited the Bet Chayrat Suf. Built in 1881 and renovated in 2016, the Bet Kharaf Souf is a cultural and heritage site managed by the Al Nur Al Moben Association for Social Development with the aim of allowing visitors to experience some of the natural and tasty pleasures of Jordan while improving the livelihoods of local women in the area. The multifaceted social enterprise comprises of a kitchen, restaurant, and shop, employing women from the souf and offering them a platform for their traditional cooking and delicacies, as well as handmade products and food items. In Amman, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan and His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan held a meeting with various presidents from public university at Al Husseinia Palace. During today's exciting meeting, His Majesty King Abdullah II called for finalizing the bylaw to organize the activities of political parties at universities and urge institutional action to prevent placing any impediments to youth's engagement in political life. For his part, Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan highlighted the role of universities as well as student clubs and unions in supporting the political modernization track and promoting culture of dialogue and political action amongst students. Meanwhile, the famous shoe company Aquazura announced Her Royal Highness Princess Maria Olympia of Greece as their new brand ambassador. 
In a press release, Mr. Edgardo Osorio, Aquazur's shoe designer, noted that the 26-year-old princess is his, quote, muse for the new fall-winter 2022 campaign. I'm thrilled to be working with Olympia. Not only is she a friend, but she also perfectly embodies the new generation of Aquazura girls. She has an effortless elegance. She is fun and has a strong personality. For the fall, we are working together to create the perfect party shoe to dance the night away. End quote. Her Royal Highness Princess Maria Olympia and Mr. Osorio collaborated on a new glamorous shoe that will be released in the fall of 2022 as part of the Aquazura Resort 2023 collection. On the Isle of Wight, Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal, as patron, officially opened the UKSA's new Sea Change 136 Bed Accommodation Centre. According to a press release, the new Sea Change Accommodation Centre will enable the UKSA charity to, quote, welcome an additional 3,000 young people each year, thereby allowing the charity to continue to grow its impact on life skills and career prospects, end quote. During his recent visit to Cornwall, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, or rather I should say His Royal Highness the Duke of Cornwall, as he is known in the Duchy of Cornwall, as patron of the Queen's Green Canopy, viewed the 400-year-old Restormal Oak Tree near Restormal Castle. The beautiful oak tree stands over 5.54 meters tall and was around during the English Civil War. Incredible. In Madrid, his Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain held an audience with the authors of the collective work entitled The Headquarters of the Parliamentary State in the 21st Century, held at Palacio Real El Paro. The purpose of this collective work is to provide an understanding of the meaning and scope of the position and constitutional functions of, or as the head of state, as a necessary institution in the architecture of a parliamentary state. In the afternoon, His Majesty held audiences with the new civil servants of the Superior Corps of State Treasury Inspectors and with the new officials of the National Veterinary Corps who have recently passed the entrance exams to the General State Administration. And finally, last evening in Bayreuth, Germany, Their Highnesses Prince Alexander and Princess Makema zu schomburg lippe attended the opening of the 2022 Bayreuth Festival and State Reception. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Wednesday, July 27th with all the latest royal news. Until then, you can visit me at my website, royalcorrespondent.com, or on Twitter. With that being said, enjoy your Tuesday evening, everyone, and I wish you all a wonderful Wednesday tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.